I wrote a uh, rather mm, harsh review of my experience at the Ritz Carlton and uh, I posted it on uh, LinkedIn and this guy commented uh, well, a lot of you, you know, couldn't believe it and thought the horror story as well, but uh, said, well, so some rich guy didn't get anything he demanded, big deal. And I was like, okay, A, I'm not a rich guy. Number two is I didn't demand anything. The whole point was that customer service standards that had been developed over the years and everybody had said, oh, this is what the mark of a fine hotel is, uh, came to be nothing. In fact, worse than a regular experience, you know, worse than a typical experience I had in most any uh, hotel. And uh, I was just the next stop, but I was in uh, Philadelphia last weekend, and then I was in uh, Dallas a couple of days ago, and I went in to get another uh, massage, and I had called to make an appointment, and the woman said, oh, I can only do it around uh, 4. And I said, you know, I get off the podium at 3.45, and she goes, podium, are you speaking here? I go, yeah, I am. She goes, well, why don't I, I'll ask the person to stay till 4.30. I said, well, that's really nice. If I can get there earlier, I will. So I show up at about 4.05. And as I walk in, I'm just going to say hi to the to the registration, but they have a big thing of uh, water. So I go over and I get a glass of water. And from behind the counter, the woman says, yeah, you better fill up on water after you've been speaking all day. And I come uh, over to the registration counter and she reaches out her hand and she goes, good morning. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Fibbs. My name's Kendall. I want you to meet our team here. We're so happy you chose us. Now, did she know who I was? Did she... Uh, go through and take extraordinary efforts. No, she had the spirit of hospitality. And that's really what's missing in a lot of retail right now is we are blaming Amazon and blaming everybody else. But at the end of the day, you're just really not that exceptional and nobody raves about average. So that's my big point for you to be thinking about here today uh, in my uh, setup here in Los Angeles is how average are you and what's it going to take for you to cut through and be somebody other than what everybody else is doing. Because I got to tell you, there's an awful lot of bitter betties around there in the world. A lot of people not training anyone. A lot of people not holding people accountable. And a lot of people getting away with crap service. Sorry. And I'm going to call you on it if I'm in your store. Is that fair enough? 